Hey, this is Gary Dean, PremiumMobileServices.com. Um, I'm here with Scott and his nasty Z06. Uh, that's his screen name on the Adams Forum. Um, we're going to do uh, some paint cor correction. I've already washed and clay barred the vehicle. Um, it's pretty swirled up. He's got an aftermarket hood. Um, it's very loud, which I'm sure you'll see later on in the video. I'll post that. Um, I didn't bother cleaning the wheels yet because uh, I'm going to do the polishing, get the paint right, and then I'll trim it out afterwards. Um, what we're going to do today is use uh, a box of Adams products. So I'm going to get on the detail. Um, I want to thank Scott for bringing the car here for me today uh, and thank Adam for sending me some products to try out. Yeah, idle videos just don't. Here's the contents of the box of product that Adam sent. Some of the stuff we're going to be using today. That's the detail spray, some in and out spray, glass cleaner, um, his assortment of polishes, uh, some of his pads with the backing plate, uh, interior brushes, leather conditioner, that's the Americana. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pull the car in the shop and get on the detail. Hey, uh, I just wanted to show everyone, uh, we got the car in the garage, it's washed, uh, clay board. Um, now what I'm going to do before I start to polish, uh, I would recommend it before you polish anything, is tape up all the trim. Hey, now we're going to, um, what I'm doing is, I'm just marking off a test spot, it's probably too much tape, but I'm just trying to... Um, isolate this area from the rest of the car. Um, I'm going to start with the uh, the green pad, the green Adams pad, severe swirl remover, and uh, I'm starting with this because I know that Corvette clear coat is extremely hard. Um, so I'm going to start with the green and then see where that takes me. So we use the severe swirl remover, the green pad and the green polish combination to remove the defects in the paint. Um, that does a good job at leveling the paint and prepping it for refining that, which would be the orange pad and product combo. Uh, but we're going to jump right to white. Um, uh, that's there's no real right or wrong way to do that uh, I think that it's gonna work out just fine and this should do a very good job of refining the paint and making the gloss um, a lot better than it is uh, after the compounding process with the severe swirl remover try to get a close-up on these uh, little scratches inside here yeah you can see them on this Corvette right where the taillights are uh, it's hard to get a polisher in there, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use some of this uh, Adams Severe Swirl Remover and a terry cloth towel to uh, try to get some of those out by hand. And then I'll go back behind it with the the orange Swirl, swirl and Haze Remover. So let's uh, do this by hand. How I like to do this is um, 
I use a terry cloth when I'm compounding by hand because it's a little bit more abrasive than a microfiber towel. Mm, it smells minty. I can almost eat this stuff. <laughs> all, all of the Adam stuff smells so good. And that's, that's you know, I just want to say something about that. It's, it's important that good products smell good too. You know, you enjoy using them, but I don't know, the smell just kind of makes you enjoy it a little bit more. So I'm gonna just try to take some of these scratches out too well. So we'll just try to get them out by hand going like this. And then when it starts to dry up, you'll take a microfiber towel. It looks like it got a lot of the uh, scratches out, but it left some real haziness, uh, which is common for uh, an actual compound like this. Um, I'm not going to work too hard in there because of a couple of things. Uh, as a professional detailer with experience, I know that the paint on this rear bumper is much thinner than on the rest of the car. So um, beyond that, this is an edge. All of the edges on any car um, are very thin paint, um, especially on Corvettes. Um, you just want to make sure that you're, you're careful when you're around edges uh, and you're working with uh, heavy compounds anyway, uh, but inside here will be less paint than on the flatter portions of the bumper. So when you're working by hand, just don't, you don't have to put all your weight on it. You just kind of let the compound do all the work. So um, this seems to be doing a very good job of taking out the scratches by hand. Uh, but like I mentioned, it'll leave a, a little bit of haziness behind. So what I'm going to do is go grab the, um, the orange swirl and haze remover. So instead of using the terry towel, I'm going to go ahead and switch to a microfiber towel. The problem with uh, polishing by hand with a microfiber towel is that the microfiber will absorb a lot of the polish. So um, really what I'm doing here is letting the polish work again. We're not trying to get any um, abrasive action out of the uh, out of the the towel or the applicator that you're using. I mean, you can use a variety of other applicators, but I I choose to use this because it's a little easier to work with than an actual applicator. And right there, I can see that that is definitely taking care of that. But we're going to go one more step and step down to the um, the fine machine polish which will be the white polish. I'm gonna do the same thing though on that. All right, so now we're back with our microfiber. You just turn it to another corner uh, when you're using a different product. And then uh, we're at the fine machine polish now, which will be the least aggressive in the Adams line um, for final finishing and stuff like that. But after you've uh, compounded and then polished, now you're gonna finish uh, with the fine machine polish. Just rub it into the uh, microfiber here and then you'll just take this and lightly work it over until you get rid of a lot of uh, whatever was left over. Uh, there wasn't too much left over. The uh, swirl and haze remover really did a good job of uh, getting rid of uh, the haziness that the severe swirl remover left behind. Just turn your microfiber and wipe it out. And I would say that looks really good.